right, today we're gonna replace this Ram Air Snorkel head for one though for one that'll keep the dust out. So this will spin any particles out that uh, get sucked up through here. And the, the dust and small debris just collect up in this little canister up here. Show you real quick. So when it gets full of dust, all you do is unscrew this. So this is more of a pre-filter to keep more dust out of your air filter inside the engines save you having to buy air filters and if you've ever driven with a ram air snorkel on in a giant snowstorm like i have it will fill up your air intake with snow so that's it all you do is take that out this takes the air from through here and then everything gets collected through here as it spins out and then all the fresh clean air goes right down through there into your snorkel so put the top back on and all you need to do this tool is a to uh, replace this or change out your head is an 11 millimeter socket. Now, I didn't buy this from uh, AEV because this kind of head from AEV costs around $400, I believe. Just go ahead and loosen up the clamp holding the ram air head on. it off. Once the uh, clamp is loose, it'll wiggle that baby up and off. There you go. There you go. Nice and dusty inside. All right. Skating clip. There we go. Screw that on the rest of the way. So I found this um, spin filter on Amazon for $25. It's a um, five inch diameter. And what we do is push it on like that. All right, so we bought this pre filter for desert and dusty conditions. And it was only 25 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I do need to modify it just a bit. We got about an inch of room here. I want it to drop down and just sit a little more flush down like the stock one did. Uh, the stock one was a ram air, which rams dust and crap down your, the throat of your truck as you're driving, I guess. Um, so we got this one just for the desert probably. Um, it should separate out more dust from the air filter. It's cyclonic, so all the dust spins around inside here and gets trapped before going through your air filter. So I'm going to cut about an inch out of the inside here. I didn't buy the AEV one because it is like 400 bucks, I think. And this guy on Amazon is a five inch pre-filter that cost me $30. It's not the best shape, but I guess that's what you get for 25 bucks. I'm gonna try it out, see how it works. I'm gonna trim out about an inch of this webbing in here so that it goes down a little more flush. All right, so we're just gonna trim about an inch out of here. A little die grinder here, so let's see how this long this is gonna take here. Might get a little noisy with the air compressor, but let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll take out the top so it doesn't collect all the dirt debris.
hours later. We'll do a little test fit on that, then uh, come back and clean it up a little bit more. Inside here, got it ground down. Had to cut. There was a lip in there. I had to shave off all the way around it. So now we'll test fit it. See how it does. All right. So we got the inside cleaned out, trimmed up, so we can slide it down a little bit further on there. Go outside and install that. We got it cleaned up. Okay, there she is. Now we just uh, hold the millimeter, tighten that up, tighten down the band. All right, nice and secure. Secure. So save yourself $500 from AEV. Just buy the snorkel for $425 and then buy a spin filter head off of Amazon for about $25 bucks shipped. So we'll see how that does and keeping the uh, air a little bit cleaner inside the air filter box. The pre filter's installed now. We've trimmed it. It fits nice and flush down here now where I wanted it to. It wasn't too hard cost 25 bucks from that for that on Amazon and it's pretty love it's a little bit taller than the roof line but about the same height as that antenna so we should hopefully take it out I do have to do one more fix on here AEV sent these stupid rubber grommets you had to drill a hole through here and then they compress when you tighten down the bolt well they're not very strong they just freaking rip right out of the body so we're gonna get some nut certs to fix that problem uh, and that is about all I'm not too impressed with this quality this thing's all scratched to hell like somebody else tried it out before I got it but I guess the uh, the whole body is scratched to hell so what the hell we'll just use it anyway it's not a show truck it's not gonna win any shows anytime soon <laughs> It's destroyed with 35, 38,000 miles on it now. I have killed the paint. It's just the fun of going to the desert all the time. Maybe we'll get it wrapped. We'll see if that's in the budget in the future. So that's uh, our newest modification that should keep a lot of the dust and fine particles out of the air filter box and the air filter itself so we don't have to replace our air filter as often. So we'll try that out and see how it does and report back.